Alrighty. It's kind of like a boss battle here. I've lost two times before. Let's see if we can win this time. So L1 is turbo. Oh shit, I guess I better stay far away. Holy crap! Fucking thing killed me quick. Can't go in balls deep, I have to go back a little bit. really easy. Let's save it right here. Oh, oh, oh! Stay from distance.
God damn! Yo! Oh shit! Goddamn! Follow me up here? Almost got it. Fuck, run. Oh, shit. Oh shit, 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 shit. Run. No. No. God damn it. More hits. Run! Oh shit, 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 shit. No, 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 no. God damn it. God, this fucker's tough.
Holy shit, did I finally get it? Wow. Okay, I think we got it. This. You cannot exit in which park in local terrain. The hell? Alliance soldiers. Looks like they were lured here by the distress beacon. After the Geth secure a location, Thresher Maws are subterranean carnivores that spend their entire lives eating or searching for something to eat. Threshers reproduce via spores that can lie dormant for millennia, yet are robust enough to survive prolonged periods in deep space and atmospheric re-entry. As a result, Thresher spores appear on many worlds, spread by previous generations of space travelers. The body of a thresher never entirely leaves the ground. Only huh. the head and tentacles erupt from the earth to attack. In addition to physical attacks, threshers have the ability to project toxic chemicals and emit bursts of infrasound as a shockwave weapon. Return the Citadel Tower. All right.
Commander, something you need? I have to go. All right, see ya.
equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. When I first arrived on the Citadel, I spent nearly three hours being questioned by the officers here before they would let me enter the wards. Is it common for human women to be front rank fighters, Chief Williams? I know that Salarian women do not serve in the military. It's becoming more common, but it took a long time to prove that ladies could handle an assault rifle or a shotgun. On the flotilla, we don't have the luxury of sexism. We need the best hands for every available job. Sounds nice, but I don't think I could get used to the uniform. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the Counselor's assistants. Commander, any word on my missing men? They were killed by a Thresher Maw. A Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance Distress Beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the Thresher Nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Let's see, what should we do next? Let's go for this one. Let's see, so we would have explored the uncharted worlds of Artemis Tau Cluster. Optimus Tau Cluster. Alright. Hmm. 
actually. I've not been in the financial district yet. Let's check this place out before we leave. Oh wait, no, I've been here. Haven't I? Consort chambers. Hmm. This loads pretty fast in the PS5. A couple seconds. Boom. Alright. pretty new at the game yet, so how do I get back to my ship? Wish I could just fast travel to my ship. Hmm. Damn it. Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle and his cultists refused to surrender and were killed in the resulting firefight. disturb the keepers welcome to presidium tourism terminal 2 you are standing near the base of the citadel tower one of the presidium's most recognizable and important structures for your convenience this terminal is programmed with information on the tower the relay monument and the keepers that's all for now thank you for using avena have a pleasure Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? 
The enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. If the Protheans wanted you to force your message on the unwilling, they'd have said so. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. This one departs now, and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. So I'm starting to remember. So TSEC connects to my ship, I believe. Ah, Dock and Bay. Yep, that's where I want to go. Dock and Bay. Yep. In other news, ExogeniCorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Wish you could just fast travel to the ship. What? Here I am. All right. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. In progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Okay, so let's see. So I want to go to the Artemis Tau cluster. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. What's up? Shepard, this is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresham War. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Serpers. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. Now it's up to I've you. Done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me.
sometimes you find asteroids in the belt they have minerals there's just kind of oh see unknown what's this scan Check this place out. Okay, we are trying to find something. Yo, get up there.
Captain Milan's identification tag. How it ended up here is impossible to know for sure. Ready. You lead, I'll follow. Something's down here. So we got. Oh wait, have I been here before? Oh shit, I've been here before. Oh goddamn. Somewhere in the Artemis tile system. Okay. So we're already on here. I don't think we can land on any of the others. Nope. Let's try this one. Wow, that's a long orbit, 141 Earth years. Huh, so I can't land on any of these, huh? Hmm. Oh, I should have just zoomed out, not going all the way exit. first that's where I would land
It's a fun game. Why does every planet look almost the same? Is there no like green? Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. There we go. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Check out this place first, though. What's this? Ah, uh, just decoration. My people have searched many generations for a world to call home. If we landed here, we'd just keep searching. Alright, so this is all just decoration. So we'll get back into the vehicle. So I guess we want to go here. Oh, we got a long trip. Ooh, that's lava. Oh, it's gonna make me go around, isn't it? Yeah. It goes a long way. Okay, there's the ship. Gonna be a battle. Oh shit. This route's a no go. They have tight hand cover.
Hmm. Should I still be in the Mako? Let's find out. supposed to get over here. I'm a little busy here. Uh, the walking system in this game is a good game, but it's like not very clear how you're supposed to walk around sometimes. He's like, look, I can't go here. What the fuck? Ha!
Dudes, where were you? this one.
over here keep on going oh shit
Death Rocket Trooper. Huh? Work smarter, not harder. If this is a dead end, it's gonna be bogus. Aha! Tunnel entrance. Ooh, there's a mining cap. Oh my god. Corinthian runes. Whoo, we got a long way to go. Oh, my God. oh shit. Let's go, big boy. Stick your head out. Shot's the best shot. Gone.
Yo. It's the big boy.
Wow. Why didn't it show? Why didn't it show on the hit the uh, power of this dude at the top?
around the ruin after it was built. Hmm. Oh, this is awkward. Ah. Liara to Sony, I presume. Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. <sighs> How'd you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please! Any suggestions on how we can help? There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Oh shit. What's up, big boy? How you like my scope?
I don't understand. So X, X square, X square circle. Hey, there we go. Boom. How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before Morgeth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. we get out of this place there is an elevator back in the center of the tower at least I I think it's an elevator it should take us out of here come on I, I still cannot believe all this why would the geth come after me do you think Benezia is involved Saren's looking for the conduit think fast miss Prothean expert the conduit but I don't know What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. He needs to move faster. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Had the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. Not doesn't matter.
Alto, ve. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Uh. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention mm -hmm. it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. What cycle? What are you talking about? The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be hmm? remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Yeah. Okay, this isn't helping That's us right. find Saren or the conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the conduit or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. 
Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Don't tell me how to do my job. You are free to act as you see fit, Commander. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. Liera's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Hmm. Let's see. Yes, Commander. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. Commander, you have a minute to talk. I keep an open door policy. 
If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? Don't mince words, Chief. What's your concern? This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We... humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. I don't see that as inevitable. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. You sound like one of those terra firma party pamphlets, Chief. Terra firma is a pack of jackals. The founders had ideals. These days they just play off xenophobia and bigotry. I hope my reasons are more rational. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. I never knew my family. Grew up an orphan on Earth. Anybody in your family I'd have heard of? Couldn't say, Commander. So why are you out here? Just trying to get away from Earth? No. The future of humanity is out here. There's so much we haven't seen yet. Yeah. I still remember my first field exercise on Titan. When we hit mud, the reality hit me. I'm the first person who ever stood here. Then my drill instructor kicked me in the ass. I went face first into the muck. He spent the next five minutes chewing me out for gold breaking. Don't tell me you had Gunny Ellison. <laughs> He's the only one I know who uses that word to describe shirking duty. Oh lord, you went to the Makapog boot camp too? Yeah. Gunny Ellison's still reaming out recruits down there, kicking ass and using words like inveigle and pusillanimous. <laughs> it doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, sir. Mainly I've been groundside, part of the surface garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. That's odd. Your record is spotless, and your technical scores are exemplary. You should be serving with the fleet. Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. All right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Turian, I'll ask which cheek. Would you kiss anyone I ordered you to? That depends, sir. If you ordered me to kiss a superior officer, that would be a violation of the regs concerning fraternization. That would make it an illegal order. I'd be required to decline and relieve you of command. Sir. What's your opinion on the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? I'm not sure I believe it either. It's better to have her where we can see her. That makes sense. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. What's your opinion on the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. I'm not sure I believe it that either. That makes sense. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's we'll impressive. talk later, Willie. Looking forward to it, sir. What's up, big boy? So... We've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good? He's rotten. 
to the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I'll decide what's important. Now tell me how you know Saren. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. Whose ship was it? It was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Mm. So long, Rex. Shepard. <laughs> Commander, nice work out there. I knew working with a Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not bad. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand, Commander. Looking for supplies? You know it, buddy. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Ooh, I got some money now, 27,000. Let's see.
damn, that's a lot of money at, at, at the top there. Sniper, 112. Well, shit, mine's already almost 112. Hmm. Damn, 237,000. Wow. Faster than light. The Mako infantry fighting vehicle was designed for the system alliance. So it's the assault rifle, 160 damage. 101 damage. 10.3 seconds. Looking for supplies? So, 101 and 4.3. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. One twelve and 1.3. That's a little bit heavier and faster. Yeah, let's go for it. What the hell? You got it. Spend it. damage and faster. Now who's gonna get the Reaper 3 though? Alright, anyway. Uh, where are we going? your chief engineer but I just sort of feel out of place the Normandy runs so smooth it feels like we're not even moving and the engines are so quiet how do you sleep at night the silence wakes you up back on the flotilla the last thing you want to hear is silence it means an engines died or an air filter shut down I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Sounds like the pilgrimage isn't just about finding resources for the fleet. Maybe it's about teaching you to appreciate your people and culture. You're probably right. We Quarians spend our whole lives traveling. But really, we never leave home. The pilgrimage has given me a whole new perspective on our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When my people... But no ship. We... This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted... I want to talk about something else. Like what? I should go. See you later. Something I can do for you, Commander. Where else have you served, Adams? 
You name a class of Alliance ship, I... My last assignment was on the Tokyo. Only a cruiser. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye. Biotics, when subjected to an electrical current, the rare material dubbed element zero, or ESO, emits a dark energy field that raises or lowers the mass of all objects within it. This mass effect is used in countless ways, from generating artificial gravity to manufacturing high-strength construction materials. It is most prominently used to enable faster-than-light space travel. ESO is generated when solid matter, such as a planet, is affected by the energy of a star going supernova. The material is common in the asteroid debris that orbits neutron stars and pulsars. These are dangerous places to mine, requiring extensive use of robotics, telepresence, and shielding to survive the incredible radiation from the dead star. Only a few major corporations can afford the setup costs required to work these primary sources. Humanity discovered refined element zero at the Prothean Research Station on Mars, allowing them to create mass effect fields and develop FTL travel. Interest in corporate research, Colleen Novaria. You guys have to attack the word Pharos. Hmm. Let's see what this one is. Novaria. Novaria. Hmm. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Dr. Tassoni. Seems like a sweet girl. Easy on the eyes. I mean, if you like the bookish sort. Just remember, Lieutenant, I saw her first. Only by a few seconds, sir. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander?
up, Doc? Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of... I want... But humanity needs the Alliance if we Ever want... Ever think to... you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about... But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left... The... I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. Uh -huh. You share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No! I did not mean to insinuate... Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess, how could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we all... My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Well, Mating hello. is not quite the proper term. Not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved. But it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. 
we can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits on to our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. The Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered spaceflight and left our homeworld. Union with our own kind is no longer common, not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. How could anyone abandon their own child? I cannot answer that. This is all speculation on my part. It is possible she wanted to be part of my life, but something happened to her before she had the chance. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard.
Time to go to Nor Norir. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say any more in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge on the Presidium. Approach Control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Keep your monitor. Where's that at? Keep your monitor.
equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. That's far enough. Something wrong, officer? You better hope there isn't. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Elanis Risk Control Services. Commander Shepard, Systems Alliance Navy. The next Navy patrol isn't due for another two weeks. You're a long way from home, Commander. Home is a state of mind. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Ovaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. It would not be wise to search for the Geth unarmed. Let's not start a fight. I'll be behind you. That armor's in good condition. Captain Matsuo, stand down. We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Get out of here. Eh? I'll be keeping my eye on you. I'm sure Parasini-san will answer any questions you have. The sooner we are off this frozen world, the better. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I have urgent business here. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago, Lady Benezia. Benezia? She is here? Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. Is this privacy intended to hide illegal research? This planet is beyond the jurisdiction of the Citadel. The law is what the executive board says it is. Do you know how valuable this planet is? How many advances in genetics and artificial intelligence got their start here? Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. No, I don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me.
Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. The managers warned us about you. I can't believe the paranoids that work here. There's no accident on Peak 15. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I won't carry anything if I don't know what it is. This one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port. I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain anonymous. Your customer would prefer to have his package. Tell me who it's for, or I walk out. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute, and quick to anger. You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay. I'm supposed to uphold the law, not break it. This one understands. The offer shall remain open. It truly needs the help. Tell me about the job again. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is I'll think about it and get back to you. This one humbly begs the other to consider its request. Has the other reconsidered this one's plea for aid? Maybe later. Right now, I need supplies. Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. Has the other reconsidered? Maybe later. Right now, I need to blow. Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. Yo, 34.
You're the Spectre, right? Um, management told us not to talk to you. The managers warned us about you, Spectre. regret letting you keep those guns. Excuse me, I need a moment of your time. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... my... real intentions. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town... What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. Hmm. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. You think this uniform's just for show? My job is to enforce the law, not break it. Do you think that Binary Helix obeys all the laws? That they do not spy on other companies? No. I don't suppose they are clean either. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Who might you be? Lorik Keen. For the moment, I am the manager of the Synthetic Insights office. Taking a three martini lunch? You mean my loitering here? If only it were mere indolence. Mr. Analeus closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The Administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. Hmm. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeus's actions. 
His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Why didn't Analeas cancel your pass clearance? Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep bloodstains off the carpets, would you? Hmm? What sort of offer did they make you? Good. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to mention numbers. They'd only write them down on thin strip. Full benefits, of course. The weather outside looks dreadful. Thank the goddess it's warm in here. Can I help you? Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas sales. Were you interested in our services? It's customary to perform minor genetic upgrades upon enlistment. I've been assigned to see what BH has to offer. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. I'm sure you know that we pass a new budget every fiscal year. If it delivers a better soldier, contracts can change. A sound business practice. Excuse my hesitation, I've never heard a government accused of good business sense. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. We can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. I've never heard of a technique that improves zero-gravity endurance. It's a first for the industry. The advent of Element Zero-based artificial gravity made it a less pressing concern. We're still waiting for tests to give us an average improvement. We estimate a 7 to 11% decrease in muscle loss rates. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. Are you sure that's the best price you can offer? Absolutely. That's the standard rate. Of course, if the government moves forward with this on an official level, there might be some additional discounts. I have to admit, it surprised me that you're here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. I wear a lot of hats, Mr. Vargas. 
Some days I shut down criminals, some days I defuse nukes, some days I like to enjoy private vices. You understand me? I suppose. My apologies. Your manner is rather informal for a business meeting. Sounds like my crew needs me for something. I'll be in touch. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to doing business with the same now. Any results? Tell me what you know about Vargas. I know... If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him Your enough. toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. Only 500? All right. I thought you might have wanted to provide more. Since you couldn't do it yourself, I mean. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. How can I help you? I hear there was an accident on Peak 15. We're aware of the rumors. At the moment, contact with the facility is down due to weather. All employees should review their non-disclosure agreements and avoid irresponsible free talk. What kind of weather cuts modern communication? A blizzard is sweeping the Scotty Mountains right now. Between the cloud cover and heavy snow, the satellite uplinks are cut. What corporations work on Peak 15? Binary Helix has leased the entire complex. How large are the facilities here? 
We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and hmm? Synthetic Insights Elanis. Limited. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Elanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. Binary Helix. They work in genetics? BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low pro... Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. What's up, punk? You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. I'm here as a specter, not a human. Keep that in mind. Believe me, that is foremost in my mind. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. Laura Keen wants me to break into his own office. He says you're corrupt. Indeed. Surely you can see his story as a lie to cover his own crimes. You have any proof of that? I will soon enough. My security teams are seeing to the matter. As a small item of note, Mr. Keene has hidden away certain records that would greatly aid my investigation. If you happen to recover them, I would be in your debt. You understand me? Is there some problem on Peak 15? An area of severe weather has cut off contact. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received Oops. a dozen I urgent messages while you dithered about. I skipped ahead a little bit too far. Inspector, have you by any chance acquired Mr. Keene's so-called evidence? No, not yet. No doubt you have more pressing demands on your time. As do I, to be frank. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Venezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at Peak 15. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? Odd that you shouldn't mind their presence. They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Let him be stubborn, Shepard. I'm sure someone else here is willing to help us. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs mm -hmm. the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about.
please. Hanshan Security. This office is sealed. Lorik Keen gave me a pass in. Keen? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a Varen up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't uh? see you. Hey! You were supposed... You were supposed to pretend we didn't see each other. Inspector, have you by any chance acquired Mr. Keene's so-called evidence? No, not yet. No doubt you have more pressing demands on your time. As do I, to be frank. I'm leaving. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you filled it about. Spectre, right? Who's asking? Don't worry. I'm not out to put a slug in your head. I used to be a military tech. Except for my ego's people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. So what can I do for you today? You seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's the problems up on Peak 15. Synthetics Insights was shut down by Analeas, and the Matriarch came through. What sort of problems are there at Peak 15? Don't know. There's a blizzard up there, but we've had those before. Never cut the satellite uplinks before. 15's always had a lousy reputation. Nobody talks about what they do there. And everyone sent up comes back a little quieter. Do you know where that matriarch is now? You looking for her? She took a shuttle to Peak 15 before we lost contact. What do you do here? I'm the chief mechanic for Hanshan. Just call me Lee. Humans have a problem saying, got a team of 12 under me, keeping the shuttles coming and going. What was that about synthetic insight? Scuttlebutt says Lord Keen was on the take. Sinalea shut down SI's offices. Quiet, like, so no off-world lawyers come in on it. How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas or the managers, if you can polish enough gizzard. Maybe you could let me borrow yours? Sure. If I wanted to lose my job and get sued into the next spiral arm, security tracks card use. I have to go. You need anything, I'll be here.
part I'm going to bed. Freeze! Henshan security. This office is sealed. What'll you do if I don't? You're the Spectre, right? Laura Keene is under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a Varen up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Okay, I thought we were gonna pretend we didn't see each other. What the hell? I don't get it. Understand. Oh, this gun was definitely a good purchase. Do not be fooled by these civilized surroundings. This is a place of secrets and lies.
The weather outside looks dreadful. Thank the goddess it's warm in here.
I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. No, I'm not. Are you? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? You are here off duty breaking the law for bribe money. You expect us to feel bad for stopping you? I didn't want to fight them. They fired first. Well, I don't need a gun to rip you to pieces. Whoa! What's up, bitch? Do not be fooled by these civilized surroundings. This is a place of secrets and lies. Biotics is the... An artificial intelligence is a self-aware computing system capable of learning and independent decision-making. Biotics is the ability of rare individuals to manipulate dark energy. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? Probably Analeas' thugs ripping the place apart. Smart ass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. Someone murdered our people in the Synthetic Insights office. Wonder who could have done that. <laughs> Never know.
I'm gonna quit the game soon. Call it a night. Get some sleep. <sighs> it's out. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. What do you want? The executive board knows about Analeas' corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. I thought corruption was the rule on Novaria. The rule is don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analeas is driving customers away. You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, this month I stole three million credits. Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one package. Why don't you ask Keen directly? I'm Analeas' secretary. You'd think he'd believe me? That he'd meet me in some dark alley with his evidence? I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. In the long run, it is better to remove the source of the problem. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. Keen is offering to pay me. Can you? I can produce a copy of Analeas's pass for you. I can't move large sums of money without someone noticing. Do you know why the matriarch is here? Something to do with Peak 15. She arrived after we were. She came with an escort of Asari commandos. They took the last. Do you know what she had? No idea. Break? The commandos would. How can I get to Peak 15? The shuttles are down, so you'd have to drive. All right, I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. It's a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? Did you see an Asari matriarch recently? Yes, she caused quite a stir. It's not every day a matriarch arrives with a guard detail of commandos. Armed commandos were allowed on Novaria? I don't know if they were disarmed. Of course, one can't confiscate by... Saren, and by extension, Benezia, is an important person. By that I mean an investor who might sell stock. If Is it not. so unusual to see a matriarch? They rarely venture beyond Asari space. To see Lady Benezia was also dressed for her role. An Asari in a pinstriped suit set tongues wagging among the younger male employees, so to speak. Young males have an unhealthy obsession with my species. You know why Benezia is here? She claimed to be Saren's assistant, here to get a certain project back on track. I suspect she meant Peak 15. I should let you go. Let me go. Do humans consider conversation a form of imprisonment? Mm -hmm. That would explain why so few are willing to sit and talk. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas's extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board was already investigating Analeas. They're concerned about the worm and their own fruit. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well, I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here.
Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a Spectre and all. I guess some of you can be all right. Doesn't this help you? You don't seem particularly happy. I'm ecstatic, but right now, I just feel like a long day of work is ending. While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. My people have dealt with the corporations on Noveria in the past. They pay well and they don't ask any questions. I heard the Administrator's been arrested. Any chance you had something to do with that? Why do you ask? Read it where it's due. There's a lot of corruption here. Maybe this will rein it in a bit. So what can I do for you today? I have to go. You need anything, I'll be here. Access to the garage is restricted. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Alutsk Valley. Secure the area. No one gets in or out.
All right, gotta call it a night.